Hey guys, what's up? My name is Esti. I'm a first year medical student here in New York and welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on this video. So let's get right into it. Today we're going to talk about how to get into medical school straight out of high school. Yes, it is possible. Um, even though it sounds a little misleading, you're actually going into a joint program and it's called a BSMD program or it's called a BAMD program or a BADO, BSDO doesn't matter. Regardless, this is how you get into medical school straight out of high school. So let me quickly discuss the advantages and disadvantages of, you know, attending such a program. For one thing, you pretty much reduce the stress of having to apply to medical school. You get to be connected into a program and you don't have to go through the stress that I and many other medical students had to go through, which was this entire application process and interviewing and it's crazy. It takes a whole year actually if you wanted to do it the regular way. So if you do a BSMD program or a BAMD program, you pretty much save yourself all that stress and time just by committing to a medical school before you start college in general. And then the last advantage, which I personally think is the biggest one, is that you save time and you save money. Okay, so those were the advantages. Let's talk about the disadvantages. The disadvantages include the fact that there's just limited options. There's not a lot of programs like this in America, and even if there are, they don't take a lot of kids. They take a couple of students a year. So you can see it's very, very competitive. Also, once you stick to a program, you're pretty much stuck there for the next, whatever, seven, eight, nine years. You can't really you leave, I mean, you can always leave the program, but you can't go to a different medical school if you want to. If you're in that program, you have to stay there. Otherwise, you have to apply like a totally separate undergrad to any different medical schools. It's also extremely difficult to get accepted into these programs. If the Ivy League's percentages to get accepted are around 5 to 6%, these BSMT programs are around 3-4%. So you can see it's very, very competitive to get in. And that means you're going to have to work very hard and commit a lot of your energy and time in high school to getting accepted into one of these programs. And then lastly, it's just the fact that you have to decide you want to go to medical school as early as like the age of 16, 17, which could be very young and we're not really mature at that age. A lot of people don't realize they want to go into medical school until they're in college. And a lot of people think they want to be doctors, but they don't really know what it means to be a doctor and they haven't experienced you know, the life of one or what it takes to become one. And when you're in high school, it's hard to make those decisions. So if you're definitely not sure about being a doctor, then maybe this isn't the best program for you because you're going to be pushed into this program right away and it's going to be intense and it's going to be hard. Don't get me wrong, you can always leave these programs, but having the pressure of it will always get to you and you won't be able to find what your true calling in life is. So now let's talk about how you get accepted into one of these programs. The first thing is your grades and your academic achievements. This is pretty obvious. Like I said before, to get accepted into one of these programs, it's harder than getting accepted into Ivy League schools. So you're gonna have to get those grades. You're gonna have a half a 4.0 GPA, if not higher. You're gonna have to finish top of your class. And you're also gonna have a very, very high ACT or SAT score. Just like in anything, including when I was applying to medical school straight out of undergrad, Grades aren't the only thing you need. This is just like the one step to get you looked at. Because you're competing against so many kids, you have to have something extra about you. Which leads me to the next thing, which is extracurricular activities. It's better to have a few extracurricular activities that you're very passionate about and you do for a long term and you have like a lot of investment in and you'll see the results from than to just have a bunch of random extracurricular activities that you can just check the box off, you know, I did this, I did this. You don't want that. You want a few extracurricular activities that you really work hard in and that people can see you've been very passionate about. So if you like research, then definitely there's so many research programs you can do over the summer or you know even during the year. As a high school student, I think research is a great place to start, find a high school internship program and stick with it for a long term. And then you want to find something in volunteer that you're really into and something again you could do long term. You don't want to just volunteer for like 10 hours, 15 hours because that doesn't really do anything for you. You want to find like a volunteer thing that you can do long term and that you do over the course of a year or two years or you started your own volunteer thing or something like that. That also means you can start clubs. If you start clubs, if you start organizations, if you start programs, that's amazing. 
it shows these admission people that you're ready to commit and that you have these new ideas and you're very passionate about medicine. You also want to make sure you get some shadowing in. People won't believe that you want to be in medicine if they haven't seen, you know, you try to shadow or you scribe. You can't scribe in high school actually. But you have to show that you know what medicine is, that you've experienced it, and that you know you're ready to commit to this very difficult field. Alright, that leads me on to talking about the essays, the supplemental essays that you're going to need to write. It's a little bit more complicated than just applying to regular colleges because they're going to make you write extra essays, longer responses, and it's going to be a little bit harder, but rightfully so. A lot of programs will ask you the why medicine question. You'll see this your entire life. You'll see this when you apply to medical school, when you're in medical school, you'll always be asked, why do you want to be in medical school? And as a high schooler, it might be a little bit harder to answer that question than someone like me who had gone through four years of college and had a lot, a lot of experience before committing to it. The way you would know the answer to this is, you know, from your own personal experience. And that's why I really recommend that people shadow, not even because it checks off a box or shows medical school as anything, but mostly because you'll know for yourself that you want medicine and that you're ready to commit to it. But you have to prepare for these essays. They'll take many weeks, couple months to reread them and to write them. You also have to answer the why this school question because BSMD programs are going to be stuck in the same area for a couple of years, about like seven to eight years in one area. So they want to know why do you want to commit to this school exactly? Do you see yourself living in let's say Long Island, I'm from Long Island, New York. Do you see yourself living on Long Island for eight years? And you have to also be able to answer that question. So when I was applying to medical schools, I actually preferred to stay on Long Island. And I would, I would tell them, I wanna live on Long Island because of this, 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 this. And they saw that I was ready to commit and that if I got accepted, I would stay here. And that's a really important question. You don't wanna to apply to schools that are like maybe a hundred miles away from home and that you don't wanna to go to because you won't be happy there. You wanna to apply to schools that fit you and fit your personality. If you okay, and then the last thing you'll need are very good interviews. Most likely in the BSMD program, they are gonna interview you. Not every single one of them will, but a lot of them will. And you have to practice your interview skills before then. I recommend for this is practicing on a camera. It doesn't come easy interviewing and when I was practicing for my interviews, which I got multiple acceptances from, what I did is I would set up a camera and I would read questions to myself and practice answering the question as if that camera was a person. And that helped me a lot. Some of the questions you're going to really, really need to know I'll list right now. So the first question you're going to have to have the answer for is why do you want to be a doctor? This question is asked to anybody who wants to apply to medical school. Another question you'll have is why do you want to go to BSMD programs? People want to know why you want to commit for such a long time to this program and to this one school. Another question they're going to ask is why this school exactly? You have other options. You also have the options of being just a regular pre-med. So why do you want to choose this school? And then the last question they'll ask you is what kind of clinical experience, what kind of uh, medical experience do you have? Do you know that medicine is right for you or have you just been watching Grey's Anatomy and you think this is it? Because trust me, it's not like Grey's Anatomy. Maybe a little bit. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to mention and maybe you guys don't care, but I'll just talk about why I didn't do a BSDO program. I wanted to apply. I really thought about it for a long time, but ultimately I wanted to play Division 1 tennis. I was offered a full scholarship at my university to play Division 1 tennis and actually technically I actually saved more money doing this, but I, I lost two years of my life, so I could have been a doctor two years earlier. But I wanted to play Division I tennis, and I thought that I could get into different medical schools, and I wanted to have options. And for those reasons, I did nothing wrong. It depends on your personal, it all depends on your personal situation. If you want to play sports, if you want to do whatever you want totally, or if you want to still discover yourself, then don't do a BSMD program. And also it's just very competitive to get accepted into, so maybe it is better for you to do an undergrad where you want, and then do a medical school wherever you want in the country. Maybe you'll find different interests. So yeah.